I want to give a special shout out to Ate Marge Riser. Thank you for your advice, for your tip na ipa-honor kenong ko or ipa-recognize ko ang aking bachelor's degree dito sa Germany. So, after watching my vlog sa uh, na gusto kong mag-ausbildung as kinderpflegerin or for kindergarten assistant, kindergarten teacher, nag-message si Ate Marge na pwede naman daw akong gumawa ng umsulong. Ang umsulong is yung meron ka ng beruf or meron ka ng uh, career and then gusto mo mag-shift ng career. So, like for me, I am already a uh, uh, advertising graduate, a bachelor's degree, and then gusto ko pang mag-aral at kumuha ng license for other field. So, yun yung umsulong. At dapat ipa-recognize ko din ang aking bachelor's degree dito sa Germany. So, I take her advice. Today, we are here in Bildung Centrum. At dito natin gagawin ang pagpaparecognize ng ating bachelor's degree. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to A Dose of Paula. This video is all about Honor Kenu. Kung ikaw ay isang grade school uh, graduate, high school graduate, or college graduate, pwede mong iparecognize ang iyong mga napag-aralan dito sa Germany. Paano? In this video, I'm going to share with you ang aking experience. And today, nandito tayo sa may Nuremberg para ipa-honor kan o ipa-recognize ang aking bachelor's degree sa Philippines. Para i-recognize nila ang napag-aralan ko sa Pilipinas dito sa Germany. Come and join me as I share you my experience today. So, tapos na ang ating termin or ang ating appointment dito sa Anerkenungstelle here in Nuremberg sa may Bildung Centro. At ang mga dala kong papeles during the appointment ay syempre ang aking diploma, ang aking transcript. Pinagdala rin ako ng aking sample resume para meron silang idea sa aking experiences and aking ed educational background. So, didala ko yung aking original copies and also some photocopy or Xerox copy ng aking mga documents. And during the appointment, syempre dinaskas namin yan isa-isa kung ano yung mga educational background ko, inexplain ko kung ano yung mga yun. And inexplain din niya kung ano ang equivalent dun dito sa Germany. So, good news marirecognize ang ating pinag-aralan sa Pilipinas. Hindi basta nasayang ang ating mga pinag-aralan at ilang mga taon na, na pinagpuyatan natin sa Pilipinas dahil marirecognize at marirecognize siya dito sa Germany. You just have to bring, syempre, all your original and photocopy documents or your diplomas also when you go here in Germany. So, for my case, ang natapos ko kasi is Fine Arts, major in Advertising. So, pwede daw ako makapag-work, syempre, in the Gleiche, uh, Beruf, or the same career. So, Marketing, Advertising, Media, pwede ko yan ulit trabawuhin dito. Um, I do need the papers kasi recognize kagad yung school. But it would be a better 
advantage if I will have this certificate na pinaunderkan ko talaga siya. And that cost 200 euro. Ang good news is that you don't need to shoulder it alone. You can ask help from Agentur for Arbeit and they can help you with the fees and waive it all off. As in zero lang. Wala ka nang babayaran. Ang sponsor mo ang Agentur for Arbeit at sila ang magbabayad lahat ng yun. Now, after ng usap namin, binigyan niya ako ng mga advice na I can still work on the same career if I want to. I can still stick to marketing, to advertising, to events. Dahil sa akong yan, nung mga napag-aralan ko at marirecognize yung diploma ko dito sa Germany. My only problem is my language. Kailangan, syempre, kapag nakikipag-usap ka dito, is maganda ang German mo. Kahit na may napag-aralan ka na ganung field, at least dapat marunong ka makipag-usap. So, maybe I can pursue my field, my advertising career in the future, pag nag-aaral na si Pia sa school in three years' time. For now, I think dapat talaga hasain ko muna yung aking German skills. Kasi yan ang importante talaga. If I really want to push and continue my career as advertising. Advertising woman. Kung yun talagang gusto kong i-push na career. So for now, we can still uh, learn other perus at the same time. Like, i-push natin itong kumsyulong sa kindergarten. At least, matitrain pa yung German ko. At the same time, may maaaral pa tayong other career. And, uh, let's see. Kapag ready na, ready na tayo sa lahat. Ready na talaga tayo makapag-work. Makakapili tayo. At least, marami tayong options. Pwede tayong maging kindergarten teacher, kindergarten assistant, or pwede tayong ituloy kung ano yung napag-aralan natin which is sa advertising and media. And uh, yeah, more chances, more of more chances of winning, more jobs, more working opportunities pag marami tayong lalo na career na papasukin at aaralin. And it will be, I will be the one benefiting din naman. No? I will be the one benefit everything. Sa ngayon, while we still have time, grab chance natin na mag-aral para ready tayo sumabak sa kera. At itong umsyulong na to, Agentur for Arbeit can also be your sponsor and hindi mo kailangan magbayad at all. So, bibigyan ka nila ng Bildung's Good Shine and that normally cost 8,000 euro depending kung anong peru o anong career ang gusto mong aralin but with them, they will all pay for you ang maganda sa umsyulo is that it is shorter unlike ausbildung na talagang start ka from scratch and normally, normally minimum of 3 years but with umsyulo it is shorter 1 and a half or just one year, tapos ka na for another beru, for another career. So, I am thankful for the advices, for the information that I had today and with Ate Marge sa pagsabi niya sa akin na i-inquire itong lahat ng ito kasi makakatipid tayo ng oras. Three years to one and a half or one year, napakatagal at napakalaki ng difference niyan. Ang daming nasa, na, masisave na time, ang daming masisave na energy, effort. So, this is the right choice for me, um, sure. At the same time, yung time ko, pwede ako nung sakto na oras na kailangan ko lang. Eight to one, six hours. Unlike pag house building, you need it to have the whole day 8 to 5 minimum so sa mga nag-iisip at nagpaplano na mag-ausbildung or kung shulong 
I hope this video helped you at nagkaroon kayo sana ng information like me. I am thankful sa mga nalaman ko ngayon at sa mga advices na mga nabigay sa akin. And I hope mas mag natulungan ko din kayo with this video. So, there you go. That's all for today. So, call your agenture for Arbite. Ask help. And I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. That's all for today, folks. I'll see you again on my next video. Until next time.